The Ducati Scrambler is an entry-level retro celebration of simplicity. It's inspired by the original Scrambler of 1962, but reimagined today to attract a new, youthful and urban-centric audience to the Italian brand. The vision for Ducati was to present an evolution of the Scrambler as if the company had never ceased production. So it's retro modern, but with features like a daytime running LED headlight, an underseat USB port to help charge your phone, ABS and Pirelli wet weather race tires. The emphasis is on the modern. To help embrace a flourishing custom scene, there are four very different flavors of Scrambler you can order straight out of the crate. There's an entry-level Icon, a pseudo off-roading urban enduro, a flat track inspired full throttle, and this pretty special classic, which gets beautifully spoked wheels, metal mud guards, a stitched seat, tweaked tank, and these rather gorgeous classic eye dents. Mechanically speaking, all versions are identical with a twin spar steel trellis frame and an 803cc air-cooled L-twin engine that develops 75 brake horsepower. There's a Kyber inverted front fork, a single side-mounted rear shock that's adjustable for preload, but that's pretty much it. No multiple rider modes, no traction control. This is just a really simple motorcycle, lightweight, low seat with wide bars and an upright riding position that feels so well set up for the city. I love this offset digital display that's very clear to read and it's framed beautifully by this throttle cable. But annoyingly, it doesn't feature a fuel gauge or a gear position indicator. And although the accessories catalog is absolutely loaded with options like heated grips, camouflage side panels and tail tidies, you can't spec a full stand. How you gel with the Scrambler is going to depend entirely on your expectations because this is unlike any other Ducati I've ridden. Dynamically speaking, it sits somewhere in the retro zone between the brilliant BMW R9T and the Triumph Bonneville. The setup isn't soft, but you can tell that the emphasis here is on getting around town with ease, with a big grin on your face, and of course, in unrivaled style, because this is a Ducati after all. These wide bars give you an excellent steering lock, which is very good for filtering through traffic. The brakes have good feel, and I love how even modest speeds still feel quick and entertaining on this thing. You can still hustle it along. At 9,000 RPM, the tachometer flashes at you, encouraging you to grab another of the gears. But you're gonna be having loads of fun on this thing long before your boots start kissing the floor. Probably my only criticism is surprisingly at lower speed because the power delivery can be a little bit jerky, especially when you're pulling away from the lights or from junctions. You either have to counter it with a bit more throttle or be a bit heavier on the clutch than you'd like to, but this is a minor niggle in a bike that has more than enough substance to match the style. The Ducati Scrambler is a bike that is fully deserving of all the hype. It's fun and manageable to ride, super affordable to buy and run, and offers near limitless opportunities for customization. As a weekend plaything or an urban commuter, I don't think motorcycles can get much cooler. <laughs>